Today's special education lesson is tape art. You will need a piece of white paper, painter's tape, paint, and a paintbrush. I'm gonna start off by having my paper pre-taped to the table. This will help make sure the paper doesn't move at all while I'm painting later. When you start taping, make sure you have painter's tape. The blue or the green tape works best. If you're using scotch tape, it will not work as it will not come off at the end once our painting is dry. A helpful tip for any students of a hard time tearing the tape, having your parents pre-rip tape that's already set out for the child, so very easy and helpful, or having it ripped halfway so the student can then rip it all the way. I'm showing three things that you can do with this tape. You can do non-objective where you just rip and place the tape wherever you would like. You can make lines with your tape going up and down the page or across. Students can also make something with their tape if they want to make a flower like I am going to in a second or a fish or their name or the sun. Anything that they want to make with the tape they can do as well. This project is actually a great way to show negative space. What you're making right now is the positive space, the object itself, but you're gonna paint around it in a little bit and once it's dry and you peel that tape off, the negative image will show. Once you feel like your paper is complete and you like what you taped on, you can start painting. I'm just using regular craft paint. I picked three colors, I put some paint on a plate, and I think it's best if you don't have water and just mix the paint right on the paper. As you can see, I'm covering the tape with kind of a fluffy brush stroke that makes sure it gets all around the tape. You're gonna continue painting your entire page until it is full. Once you're done, let it completely dry before you peel off the tape. Now that it's completely dry, I'm gonna start peeling off the tape. The tape might get stuck in some places and rip the paint, but don't worry when that happens, just keep on going and peel it off as carefully as you can. This can be a lot of fun with students with special needs. It's great for their sensory skills. If they're having any difficulty peeling the tape off all the way, you can start by peeling it off to prompt them and then they can peel the rest off themselves. And there you have it, you have a beautiful piece of tape art.